What is up, PK fam? And today I do not have a double twisting tutorial for you, as I said I would in my last in last week's video. But to make up for it, here are some double full twists. Scoot double full and flat. Show say step double full off a hill. Oh! Okay, that should keep you hooked for a little bit. Anyway, I'm doing my end of the year video now, since it's basically the end of the year. So what we do here is watch my end of the year video for last year, so 2017. Also, I'll be posting random uh, training clips that I haven't posted on my YouTube channel, just to keep your guys' attention span just a little bit longer. But anyway, let's get started. Let's watch my end of the year 2017 and my goals for 2018 video. Okay, okay, goals for 2018 and non-stop parkour and the year of double flips. Um, I honestly don't remember any of the goals that I set myself for 2018. I'm pretty sure double fools was one of them, but did I set myself to learn like double flips? Cause I haven't gotten any double flips outside. <laughs> We're about to find out if I just let myself down. And an ad. Yo, what is up, PK fam? You should watch my best of 2017 parkour and free one. Dang. My shameless plugging skills was good. Darn, I, I gotta get back to that. <laughs> so goal number one, get sponsored. Okay, so this is a touchy subject because I don't think I don't consider myself sponsored, but some people would consider myself sponsored because Team Swift, like I'm a part of Team Swift, so and they like offered to uh sponsor my trip to Sweden like just with other things like giving me clothes to represent them and things like that so I think in a way I did get sponsored but I don't consider it that's still a goal for 2019 so obviously I said add a full so add a 360 twist to any of my higher level moves I haven't taken it taken it outside yet but I will count them just because it's hard to take those uh, hard impact moves outside. I got gate full. There we go. Yes! And I got swing cast fulls. Featuring his mom. Which I'm so freaking happy with. They're super consistent. Again, I just haven't had the chance to take them outside because for both of those things, I ended up learning them in the winter and obviously it's cold outside. Baby, Baby it's cold, cold outside. outside. <laughs> Once it warms up, I'll, I plan to take both of those moves outside. And the next goal, goal number three. You guys are gonna like this one. 2018 is the year of double flips. Yeah. I'm about to let myself down. <laughs> uh, something like that, but two double flips. <laughs> Um, on lock, at least on grass. Basically, all I did work on was all the double twists I do have, so scoot double full and double cork, but on flat. I didn't work on double flips per se, but I did work on double twists, and my double twists are really nice right now. Also, instead of double flips, along with the double fulls and double corks on flat, I also have a bunch of oppo twisting now. Regular full. Oppo full. Regular side. Okay, oppo side. I'm happy with the things that I accomplished, even though I didn't set them as a goal. And just to clarify, I want to be able to do the double flip off of height that's lower than my height, so lower than head height. I don't, I don't even know, whatever. Goal number four is to start a clothing line slash slash merchandise. Now, okay, gosh darn it, I have messed up like all of these goals. Okay, so the clothing line brand like merch type thing, it's 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 a far process. I, I took a break from you, or well, yeah, I took a break from YouTube obviously when I broke my pinky and. I, uh, when I came back, I only started doing once a week. So that really kind of slowed things down, at least growth wise and like interaction wise, interaction wise with the fans and the PK fam, which is why I didn't think it was the best time to start a clothing line. Because if I'm not interacting with the fans as much, then I obviously won't have as much demand for the clothing. I do plan on doing three videos a week again. Uh, starting in 2019, but we're gonna see we're gonna see if I actually decide to do that. If I do decide to do three videos a week 
and I start getting uh, a lot more interaction with the PK fam, then the chance of merch and a clothing line is way higher. Next thing, goal for subscribers, just to like set the standard for me. I'm gonna say, say 25,000 subscribers. Okay, we didn't hit 25,000 subscribers. Jesus Christ, I'm just punching myself in the gut over and over. We didn't hit 25,000 subscribers, but I'm honestly okay with that because I would not be okay with it. I would be pretty pissed if I didn't hit 25,000 subscribers if I was putting as much effort into YouTube as, a, as I was at the start of the year when I was making this video. But considering the fact that I took a break of when I broke my pinky along with only doing one video a week after I uh, got healed. I'm pretty sure I had 15,000 subscribers in this video and now I have 18k, which I'm completely happy with. But again, if I do start doing like three videos a week, I expect the growth to be a lot more. High standards, high rewards. <laughs> this guy's just been hanging on the freaking chair for the longest time. I just never wear him. Oh, well, okay, I guess we gotta do it again. <laughs> we gotta make this like a tradition for every uh, end of the year video. Gosh darn. Okay, this is happening. This is a thing that's happening with me right now. Okay, I gotta, I gotta tilt you guys up a little bit so that you guys can see the beautiful hat. <laughs> okay, as I said here, if I start doing three videos a week, I am probably gonna start bringing back PK Family Fun Time, which is me commenting plus me co oh my gosh, me answering comments and reading comments in a video. So comment random stuff. It could be about parkour, it could be about this hat, it could be about anything. So use the hashtag PKFFT, PK Family Fun Time, or hashtag PK Family Fun Time, and yeah, I'll answer that stuff, and it'll be a Yeah, use those hashtags. <laughs> really fun. And I think finally, just to top it all off, uh, my last goal will be to qualify for two major competitions, NAPC, or Red Bull, I called it! I freaking called it! <laughs> I was able to accomplish that goal, my the scariest goal that I set myself, like compete in two international competitions, and I did. I did compete in NAPC. <laughs> and I got, uh, what I guess, sixth or something like that? And Air Whip, which was such a crazy experience. <laughs> I got seventh out of like over a hundred competitors, if you consider the qualifying round like an amount of competitors. You should also ring the notification bell button so that you can see if I follow through with all of these goals. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. PK person out. Okay, so, oh Jesus. So that was my recap. Uh, I, didn't, I did not complete as many goals as I thought I did, but that's fine, it'll happen. But now to get on with the goals for 2019. That's the exciting part. <laughs> so my first amount of goals is all the goals that I wasn't able to complete in 2018. So get sponsored, start a clothing line, if I start posting on my channel more and start getting more interaction with the PK fam again. Sort of the double flips one, I'm not gonna set it a goal to get at least two double flips on ground. All I want are double side flips because I want those for air whip uh, in 2019. And yeah, those are my goals that I wasn't able to complete in 2018 that I want to get in 2019. Now, specifically new goals for 2019 is all of the double twists. I wanna get triple fulls off of at most uh, shoulder height and really consistent because I was really close to getting them consistent and then I screwed up my ankle. And then I want Randy's off of just like a slant or something like that, pretty consistent, again, onto grass. Along with gate fulls outside, along with swing cast fulls outside, those are my goals for, 2018, for 2019. Jesus, oh my gosh, it's already 2019, Jesus Christ. Anyway, those are the goals. I need to get those really consistent, specifically for the major competitions that I plan on being in, specifically air with them. I've been talking to DK and he knows, oh yeah guys, that's a thing. I'm like just talking to DK casually now. Just like we just have random conversations and reminisce about like Air Whip this from 2018. It's honestly so surreal. Anyway, I've been talking to DK and he said that Red Bull Art of Motion is happening this year. He just does he just can't give out any details. So I guess we're gonna find out later. Uh uh, are there any other goals? <laughs> I guess one goal that I didn't really set in my 2018 that I want to set is just networking. It's very vague, but I feel like it's necessary uh, if I'm gonna be able to like make a name for myself, uh, like grow the PK fam. Networking, just 
which which is basically just talking and like interacting with other parkour athletes, hopefully bigger athletes, so that like we can just grow off of each other and learn from each other. A group that I really want to meet is Gravitated Equations. They seem so freaking cool and it seems like the shenanigans they do are just so crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that concludes it. Uh, we just watched the recap of my goals for 2018 video. We just set my goals for 2019, and I think I'm gonna end that video there. I'm not gonna extend this video any more than it should be. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell button. You should also ring the notification bell button because- Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I died. Uh, because my best of 2018 parkour and free running video is gonna be coming out next week, hopefully. I wouldn't be surprised if I would have to kind of move it uh, to a later date because I haven't even started it. Started it. I haven't even found music yet. But yeah, PK fam, it's a new year, new possibilities. Are you guys hyped? What are your goals for 2019? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. PK person out. Woo!